Thank you. Okay, we're right now at the airport, Los Angeles International Airport. Tom Bradley International Airport. Well, Tom Bradley International Airport. And we're on our way to Miami and Key West. Key West is going to be celebrating its pride uh, party. And um, we're just so anxious to get there. So we stopped by for a little breakfast because our flight leaves in about an hour and a half. So we have some time to kill. And um, we're just enjoying some of the food here. and. What I have is some Chinese food and fried rice. I just love the fried rice. Yeah, yes. look at that. Yeah, that's it. And I'm having that. Mm. It's actually a good deal. So for a plate, it's only like $12. And for a bowl, it's 10 bucks. And surprisingly, they've improved their food. Yeah, I got it. So, or maybe it's just the airport quality. Or maybe I'm just hungry. We don't know. But look at Adam. Yeah, so good. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna enjoy our food now and we'll keep you updated. Finally in our seats, mm -hmm. we're at the exit row so it gives us a little bit more space. Yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah, but finally we're boarded, we'll get there on time and it should be fine. Yes, <laughs> can't wait to see Miami and Key West. See you later. Okay. After about five, four and a half hours, actually, it was a very smooth flight, really nice. We're now here in Miami International Airport. Yeah. We're going to meet my sister. It's my yeah. first time in Miami. We've been to Fort Lauderdale, but not in Miami. Yeah. So, so uh, we're anxious to get to our hotel, which will be in uh, Palm Beach. Yes, and it's going to be a great weather. Too. So we have we're going to spend two days here, and then after that. We're on our way to Key West to celebrate Key West Pride as well. She's from Miami. Of mm. course. Right? Ooh. I'm trying to find the exit. Oh, no. Big airport.
Ah non Almost out of here. Stop it. Stupid. Yeah, getting out of the airport is almost took as long as the flight. Exactly. Jesus Christ. So we're crossing the bridge now to Miami Beach, and this bridge goes over this beautiful bay or water, body of water. It's gorgeous. You can see the buildings, you can see this is a real tourist town. Oh wow, look at that. That's the Miami I remember on TV. Beautiful. Yeah. And I love the palm trees. So nice. Very tropical, huh? That, that view. Wow. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, wow. Planters play painted pride. Yeah. Yay, we made it. We made it. We're here. We found parking. Parking's a little difficult to find in um, Miami Beach, and now we're going to be going to uh, our hotel. So we made it to Miami. Dump all this stuff, and we're going to explore. There's lots of restaurants here, lots of things to explore. So. Wow, Adam. Oh my god. Let's go to the two some starts. <laughs> Let's see wow. how they're rated star wise. Uh-huh. Because there's someone here. 24 gates per shoot of the car. Wow. We'll have to come back. We're just going to get our okay, luggage. Okay, we have to come back. Okay. Thank you, Okay, I love Paella. Hey. Spanish restaurant they have tapas. Oh my god, you're like oh. oh wow. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. I'll hold it. Yes. It's okay. So the dogs can see outside. Yeah. I got for everybody. So now we're looking for uh, a place to eat. 
our first dinner here in Miami Beach. There's so much variety and so many restaurants to choose from. So we talk to the people, they're very much nice, and then we look at the menus. So they have just so much, and like pasta, and Spanish food, and Cuban food. I mean, take your pick. So we're gonna check this one out, too. Oh, wow. This is an Italian restaurant. And we have homemade uh, pasta and fresh eggs. You can see us. Well, we make the pasta here too. Hola. Uh, Pardon the lot. Smoky wings. This is more local stuff. They have cacio pepe, but it's Espanola way restaurant. Yeah. They also have. Finally, we found a place. Musica? Hola! Thank you. So with uh, the Gamma San Julio. Okay. Gamma San Julio. Okay. Yeah. de Marisco. Vamos a compartir. Perfect. Okay. And then we have the uh, ten almond. Look at that. Thank you. So what right you're having right now is a white sangria and it's very refreshing, very cool, sweet. You can taste the pineapple um, and the wine. You can feel the wine. It's really good and it has oranges and all different types of tropical fruit here. So, um, yeah, we're going to enjoy this. And this pairs very nicely with what we ordered. We ordered this thing called Gama Salajillo, which is shrimp that's sauteed in lots of garlic and olive oil. And um, it's usually an appetizer. And then we're going to get paella. Paella is a national dish of Spain, one of the national dishes. And it's going to be made with seafood, so it's paella de marisco. So we have shrimp and calamari and all these good things in it. And we're going to split the two because it's usually a meal that's meant to be shared with people. Really. So it's going to go really nice with this um, um, sangria. So we're here now in Miami Beach, and it's a um, nice tropical night, so the wind is blowing very, very gently, so it's actually very comfortable. We're sitting outside, um, watching the people pass back and forth, and there are literally so many restaurants around here. So if you have a taste for Italian food, Japanese food, Cuban food, Spanish food, right now we're in a Spanish restaurant. So, enjoying this very refreshing white sangria, which has a lot of tropical fruits and wine in it. It's really delicious. And it pairs very, very well with what we're going to eat. So we have the gamba salajillo, which is this sauteed appetizer, sauteed uh, shrimp that's made with garlic and olive oil and uh, peppers. And usually you eat that with uh, bread. You soak it up with the bread. Perfect appetizer. And after that, we're going to be sharing a plate of paella, which is one of the national dishes of Spain. Uh, paella de marisco. So this is a paella that's made with a bunch of seafood. And, you know, um, 
It is amazing. It's one of my favorite things. It always goes well with um, sangria. We are toasting now. Hey. Cheers. To Miami. Yeah, welcome to Miami Beach. Miami Beach. It's good. Boss guy, is that another? That's a bar. One thing I like about this, you can you can people watch. So it's just like, you know, um, like Sitges in Spain, which is another resort. It's a very famous gay resort. And one of the favorite things to do is to people watch. Watch people go back and forth. Many restaurants here, many bars. So there's a lot for everything, whatever you have a taste for. And it's just a nice way to chill after a long flight that we just took. Oh my God. But it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Actually, it was a very smooth flight. And now we're here just relaxing and enjoying the breeze and watching people go back and forth as they decide what they want to eat, you know. What do you think, Marconi? Enjoy the sangria. Sangria is good, I'll tell you. Mm. Uh, yes, 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 yes. All right. Marconi, what a family goes to your Oh, wow. That looks great. Torta Española. Torta Española. Here. Gamas al ajillo. Traga de tortilla. Esa es tortilla? Sí, la tortilla. Tortilla. Ok. Vamos. This is uh, These are paella, and this is the porta. Oh, so we finally got all of our food. Take a look at it. So this is the gamba salajillo, which is shrimp with garlic sauce. So it's sautéed with butter and garlic and lots of garlic and peppers. So we're going to take that, it's usually starting before, we have this with bread, we're going to, we have the French bread right here. And here is our seafood paella, which looks marvelous. So it has clams and shellfish, calamari, shrimp, and peas, and oh, it really looks nice, so. Let's try it. Let's try that. It's very good. A little different from the gamas alajillo you get in Spain. It's more garlicky in Spain. But this is actually very good. Is it good? Mm. All right, guys, welcome back. And it has a nice flavor to it, but not as garlicky as I would like it or what we usually are used to. This is good. It's excellent. Oh my god. Mm. I love it. Delicious. It's not garlicky, but um, it's delicious. Mm. That's why I said it's not garlicky. Mm. Muy sabroso. Me gusta. Oh my god. Even though I said that the gamba salajillo was not as garlicky as the one in Spain, that is one of the most delicious shrimps I ever tasted. It's so flavorful. But when you dip the French bread in it, oh my god, it's like that. The shrimp is cooked just perfectly. It's not dried out. It's plump, juicy. And then it has a hint of garlic. You can taste the white wine and the sauce and the butter and other spices 
that I'm not familiar with, but it really enhances the flavor of the shrimp. It's so good. Look. Look. That's it. Mm. That's right. All gone. <laughs> so now we're going to try the pie again. Oh my god. So I just started tasting the seafood pie again. And it's delicious. You have that hint of saffron and a very, very light hint of tomato sauce. But it's cooked. It's very buttery. It's very tasty. And the calamari is soft. It's not dried out. The seafood here is so good. It's delicious. So what do you think, Marco? What's your... What's your... I love it. I do like it. Yeah. I thought that, you know, for a first night here, we just picked this place at random, and we were lucky because the tastes are exceptional. And I was really surprised at how good everything tasted. And I would come back here again, so I would highly recommend this place. What so is this is actually in the casa. It's called Espanolita Miami. And look at her hair. Oh my god, so you made The hairspray doesn't work. <laughs> yes, we still have part of our sangria that we have to finish. It was like a whole liter, so we've been drinking this down, you know. But throw is paper, so mine kind of like melted already. So because he bites no. down on it, that's why he just bites down on it. That's why it doesn't like mine. It, although it's perfect, so. Mm -hmm. but, oh, but I am getting full now, and it's mostly from the second beer. <laughs> but it's so delicious. This really was a surprise. And we're gonna check some. Um, the, the place just uh yeah we're gonna walk around after walk this around. number one to digest and just feel comfortable and number two just to see the sights you know how the nightlife is there it's a monday evening and you know um uh, there are not as many people walking the streets right now but you know a lot of people in the restaurants yes it's so pretty I love it. so different vibe as well as that's you know spanish but uh, it's like hard to put a figure, yeah. yeah. It's, it has like a Caribbean feel to it. I mean, as well, yeah. I don't know if it's in like a different So far. We'll see about that tomorrow. <sighs> So we just finished and we're just gonna wing it. So now we're just walking the streets mm -hmm. to digest food primarily. Mm -hmm. And just to see what's going on. It seems to be a lot going on. It's a Monday night. Yeah. A lot of people. It's about 10 o'clock in the evening, so. It's just that there's a lot of people out late at night. Which is what I like, because I'm not, we're night owls. We like to go out at night. Yeah. Are you favorite? Why are you still in there? Oh, yeah.